Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you telling me Russia had another explosion? They did. And now we're finding out some very, very sad information about this. Number one, five people were killed in yesterday's explosion. Three more were injured uh, as the another rocket explosion on the Arctic Naval Test Range in Russia. Uh, a state nuclear company is now saying and confirming that this was another accident during another liquid propellant rocket engine test. This is three, ex they've had three accidents now in the last three days. Two of them were explosions at the test site itself. One of them resulted in uh, two people killed and eight injured. Uh, another one uh, resulted in... Uh, uh, another person killed. This one has killed five and injured three. Uh, massive explosion. And radiation levels are definitely spiking following uh, this mysterious explosion. As a matter of fact, according to reports now, Russia is confirming that there is a radiation leak involved in their testing. It's the third time Russian authorities are responding today to this explosion on this military outpost. And according to officials, they said the blast occurred in Siberia, an ammunition depot area where they do testing. And it is the third, absolute third explosion in the last three days. Nearby residents seen smoke for miles. There was mushroom clouds. It was definitely nuclear. And Russia is confirming that it, there is nuclear leaks involved in this uh, and nuclear fallout. And so what does this all mean? I mean, I'm still waiting for the president of the United States, I guess, to give some kind of explanation or some kind of confirmation, I guess. Uh, I mean, the Russians are confirming it, but what is the plan? I mean, I guess, what can we say? There is no more INF treaty. There's no more INF treaty. So the Russians are going to keep testing nukes, baby nukes, little nukes, dirty nukes, whatever kind of nukes they got. And uh, obviously we probably are as well. There's still speculation that that Ridgecrest, California earthquake might not have been an earthquake. I mean, it was a quake, but it might've been caused by underground testing over there at China Lake uh, where we've tested nukes before many years ago. So who knows? But obviously this is a dangerous world now. <clears throat> the fallout of radiation taking place People are being given, um, uh, I forgot the name of that stuff again, the, the, the iodine, iodine, potassium iodine pills. They're passing them out now in Russia. They realize they got to do this. Um, it's, it's a serious situation. Taz News Agency is also reporting it. Nearby residents could see the smoke. It's, it's a real deal, okay? So we're going to keep you up to speed on what's going on. Certainly, we're living in dangerous times. And uh, we'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. And you don't want to miss Sunday night's broadcast, Sunday Night Live, uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern, because we will try to get uh, some more. You know, I you might want to go back and listen to the interview I did with Mike from around the world on Thursday night. And that, that, uh, that was a, a phenomenal interview. We did talk about some of these uh, blasts and some of these testings and different things going on. But you might also want to go back and listen to the interview I did with Stan Deo about volcanoes, tornadoes, and earthquakes, and, uh, and different types of things. In that interview, we talked about Cascadia Fault Line. We talked about the uh, six new volcanoes found over by Italy. We also talked about um, nuclear test blasting and, and nuclear tests going on and different things. So both of these interviews, I, they were both Thursday. Uh, Thursday, August the 8th, Stan Dale's interview, and then Mike from the Worlds. I interviewed them both in the same evening. You should go back and watch both of these interviews because uh, similar questions were asked to both gentlemen, and they gave great answers and confirmed some things they confirmed together, some things they had other uh, insight to. I think it'll help you understand the world we're living in. We are in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. It's getting down to the wire. Are you serious? Are you saved? And the coffee 
is about to start shipping soon. You might want to get your orders in now for the Are You Serious Coffee or the other brand. I have three flavors, of course. Are You Serious Coffee, Jamaican Me Crazy Coffee, and Heidi's favorite, Guatemalan um, Coffee, which is really bold and beautiful. Are you serious? I'll talk to you guys later.